These breathtaking images tracking two Austrian extreme hikers was taken by a drone in the mountains of Pakistan. A real challenge, not only for the hikers, but also for the drone, which had to fly through thin air at 6,250 metres above sea level. The drone was developed by two people from Bern who had already provided some spectacular shots for the latest Lauberhorn international ski races in Wengen. For the Pakistan expedition, they had to develop an extra light version of their drone. The difficulty was that we had no idea how the drone would react at such altitude. Would it still fly steadily? And would the cooling of the engine still work? We couldn't really test these things beforehand. We used a little helmet camera on the drone. Initially there was quite a lot of vibration, and we spent many hours solving this problem. Since the drone in the mountains of Pakistan would soon be out of sight, the pilot had to fly it using special glasses providing a live view from the drone. The pilot who flew there had then quasi the pilot had to navigate the drone over a distance of two and a half kilometers, all the way up to the peak. This can only be done with remote technology. In Switzerland, Frey and Tiraboski usually operate their drone together. Dionys is the drone pilot. He controls the speed and the direction, while my job is to control the camera. I can tilt it up and down. In order to pan it to the left or right, we have to turn the drone. Here I actually interfere with the plane's course. Dionys then adjusts the route accordingly. The Trango Tower in the Karakoram range, with its almost vertical walls, was a real challenge for the two Austrian climbers, as well as for the drone. But they all made it safely to the top. <laughs>